The memory of that terrible misfortune, writes Van Joe in his diary, continued to torment me even in Argentina. When I got back, I was determined to finish once and for all with the world of racing. Risking my life on the racetracks of half the world, I had earned a modest fortune. And now I thought about a new future, a simpler life. I wanted to spend my time peacefully in the vast silences of my country. I did not yet know that that was only a dream from which I would be roughly awakened only a few months later. That I would lose all I'd earned and that I would have to start again from scratch. Danvers Walker reporting. Perron has fallen. The whole world wonders why this exuberant dictator, able to arouse the enthusiasm of 20 million Argentinians just by his presence, should be forced to give up power to the military within the space of a few weeks. Together with his wife Ava, he encouraged the growth of Argentinian nationalism with oceanic demonstrations that smacked of fascism. Ava's popularity was even greater. The people absolutely worshipped her and even demanded that she be made vice president. But Ava was already very ill and her public appearances were made to reassure the people who were concerned for her health. When Ava died, her funeral was truly imposing and solemn. The emptiness felt by everybody was so deep that they demanded she be made a saint. Many newspapers and much international public opinion maintain that Ava's death contributed largely to the change in Perón's luck. These scenes from Buenos Aires show the military occupation of the city, where the army is trying to maintain order and to prevent any attempt by the opposition to take over. The streets are full of crowds rejoicing over the fall of Perón damning him with the same enthusiasm with which they applauded him during his years of dictatorship. With devastating frenzy, they seem to be trying to forgive themselves for their hysterical idolatry towards a man who until yesterday dominated and enslaved them. Today they shout for the end of everything that recalls the deposed regime. Among the names being smeared, we hear that of the great world champion racing driver, Juan Manuel Fangio, accused of having accepted certain favors from the dictator, which went beyond the normal gains of a sporting champion. They want his property confiscated, even though it was won by sheer merit on the racetracks of the world. But today, the bonfires in the squares are hungry for more and more idols to burn. 